Hi guys, this is Roy with TopLimoDriver.com. We're going to go over the basics of getting into the limo business. Uh, we're right now in New York City, so this is mostly going to be for New York City, but for the other states, you also probably going to need basically the same thing. Uh, so we're going to go over the license. You need a driver's license, uh, a regular state license, but you're also going to need a limo license. In, in New York City, it's called a TLC license. Um, if you don't have one, Google New York City TLC, click on the TLC website, click on license, click on new license, and it will tell you all the basic requirements for the license. Uh, once you get all those requirements, you go to TLC, pay the licensing fee, get your fingerprints, drug test done, and you will get your TLC license in the mail within two weeks. It's pretty simple, just get the, the requirements, go to TLC, spend a day there, usually it'll take a couple hours to do the entire process, but then you have your license, and that first year license is gonna be good for one year. After that year expires, you have to go back and renew your license, and then it's gonna expire every two years. So that's for your license in New York City. If you're licensed in a different state, find out. I'm um, pretty sure you have to do some type of course or some type of license to get a limo license. The next step in order to get into the limo business is once you have your license, basically you are gonna need your car. Um, depends on the car type you want to get and you can get either a lease a lease you can buy it lease to buy from a base you can rent an already licensed car with that has limo plates and is ready to work or you can buy a car from scratch and do the entire process yourself uh, if you lease usually when they tell you lease is that you're gonna Actually, after the end of your lease, you own the car. Um, you have to find out. But usually when they talk about leases, it means that at least to buy. You're going to lease the car for a couple of years, three, four years. And then after the three, four years, you own the car and the company gives you the car. Basically, you're buying it, but you're paying it off over a long time. Uh, but you are leasing it. And you are responsible for the maintenance and you are responsible for everything, tickets and all that in the car when you lease to buy. If you rent a car, it's a little different. You are renting the car on a weekly basis. Depends on your rental term. Some of them have six months term, some of them do weekly, some of them do monthly. Depends on who you're renting it from. Um, the rental is gonna be a weekly rent kind of like a lease, which is also going to be a re weekly pay, weekly that you have to pay for the car, weekly you have to pay for the rent. Just depends on the car you rent or you lease. When you rent the car, you don't own the car after three, four years of renting the car. You always will be a renter. You don't own the car. At the rent level, you're not responsible for the maintenance of the car. To brakes, gas, oil you are responsible for the gas but oil changes brakes repairs you're not responsible at the rent level at the lease to own level you are responsible so that's the main difference when you rent you don't own the car and you're not responsible for the repairs the owner of the company that rents you the car is responsible for the lease to buy you are responsible they are just giving you the car you are paying a lease on it but you are responsible for everything else the last step is to buy a car uh, if you haven't if you don't know how to buy a car look at a buy a car video it will explain to you the basics of buying a car if you buy a car you are required to have money for insurance and you are required to affiliate it with the base when you lease or when you rent it's already have insurance, it should already have a base. So these steps are taken out of when you lease or you rent. When you buy, you are required insurance and you are required a base. When you buy a car, you need some type of limo insurance. It's uh, extra, an extra insurance from your regular 
uh, physical damage insurance, meaning if you wreck your car, uh, you you know crash it or something, that car, that insurance, example, Geico or something, Allstate, this type of insurance, you are required, plus you need an extra insurance, a limo insurance. A limo insurance is more like a passenger insurance. Not only does it insure your car, it insures the passenger you have in the back. So this is the insurance that you need in order to be licensed. You need that type of insurance. If you crash a car, the passenger in the back gets hurt, um, you are in a commercial type of business, so you do need insurance for that passenger and yourself that's in the car. So this is why the limo insurance is for. And then you need a base. The base depends on what type of base level you want to be at. There's a couple of bases you can get affiliated with. You can get base with like a, 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 like a low level base, a mid one, and a high end one. These three type of base levels depend on the type of experience you have, the type of car you have, and the type of uh, jobs you want to do. If you go in a low level base, some type of, uh, i give you an example, basic Carmel type of base, this is a low level type of base. Uh, they go to the airport, let's say, at a low level price, econ economy type of price. This is a low base uh, type of base. This is gonna take you lower end cars, it's gonna take you older cars, Camrys, uh, to your Highlander, these are like your mid to lower. Uh, but the Camry is definitely a little bit on the low side, or uh, like, a, like a Corolla or something. These are low level cars um, that will go well, old town cars, you know, 08, 06, 07s, town cars. These are on the low level base. If you go on the mid level base, you have, um, give you a good example of a mid level base, would be Uber. Uh, this is a low level type of base, uh, a mid, it has a, actually a couple of options, but this is a good starting one if you want. Or you have a ground link, which is another mid to high level type of base. This type of base, you are required a specific type of car. Uh, I know with Uber, you can do Camrys and above. Uh, with ground link, you need a Chrysler 300 and above. So. These are the mid-level type of bases. They are a little bit higher priced, um, and you you know you get more of an hourly type of jobs, uh, which is a, a mid-level base. And then you have a high-end type of base. A high-end type of base would be like Partners New York or uh, Commonwealth. These are high-end type of base. Um, usually, if you want to start at these bases, you need to have a newer same year or at least one year older car so uh you know this is with a high level type of base talking about you know escalates chevy suburbans gmc's um mercedes s classes gl's these are the high end type of base those type of bases usually will give you a higher uh rate higher um fares you can go to, you know, let's say LaGuardia in New York City on a higher type of base for $100 fare as opposed to uh, 35 55 and 100 So those are the type of level of bases. But again, the type of level depends on your traffic driving skills, your experience as a driver, your experience as a, the car you're driving. But if you're just starting out in the business, and you're half getting your basic license, then you might want to start off at the loop, at the mid level or a, a low level base. Depends on you, but I, if I was just starting off, I would start off at the mid level base. So if you start off a little base, you can kind of get switched back and forth, and then once you get two three years driving experience. Uh, you know how the limo business works, then you might want to start at the high level base. Um, it's not recommended to start at a high level base because uh, not only will you are required to get a higher expensive car, 
um, they are a little bit slower as opposed these two are busier they get more calls you're going to do more jobs where at the high level base you're not getting as many calls as these so there are uh, you have some type of uh, waiting time there and you might you know get might get desperate and start going at a lower price but you're already locked in in a higher car so like an escalator or something or a mercedes which require you uh, more payments higher payments and higher insurance so try not to start at a high level base it's up to you if you want i would recommend it at, at mid or even at a lower just depends on the base you want um, if you get if you have any questions Feel free to contact us. Uh, our website is taplimodriver.com. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch our video. Have a good day.